pour an pot nowhere, <clears throat> and it breaks down, something's wrong with it. There's a whole nother one underneath the sofa. Now, you can get really complicated with these things. We put them in very simple. No accumulator tank, none of that stuff if you read about it. Um, I did not interface the fuel injection to the distributor because in the 70s, your diagnostic tree is if you have fuel and you have fire, if you have a carburetor squirting gas and you have ignition shooting a spark, it will start. Okay? I wanted to keep that. So I can even spray WD-40 down the throat of this, this throttle body and I have fire and it'll run. The distributor and the fuel injection system do not talk. Now, the techno geeks go, well, you know, you can do this and it'll, it'll change this, it'll be more efficient, in fact, I don't care. I want it simple. I want fuel, I want fire, and if the piston's not hanging out of the side of the motor, it's gonna run, okay? That's what you really need to be on the road and to be safe and to know that you can get going. <clears throat> The technology can go as high as you want to go. I'm not trying to be first on a race day. Let Fords do that. Um, I want to get there and get back with as least problems as possible. And having a fuel injection system, my feeling, again, other people feel different. And, and, and if you're going to be the mechanic, do that thing up as much as you want. But if somebody else is going to be your mechanic, be considerate to them and save yourself money and make it a very, very simple system to diagnose, repair, and all that. By the way, <clears throat> it also has diagnostics, just like OBD and all this. There was information there that I, I that really I've never had to, to tune a carburetor, uh, uh, information you couldn't get out of a carburetor. And, <clears throat> and this Vitex system did that. So I think that uh, that this was a positive test. We've installed three of them so far. Every one of them started up the first crank. Um, the water temperature, you read the uh, <coughs> forums, they said the water temperature is a little off. Yeah, you know, from two to six or seven degrees. So what? So what? It's not that big of a deal. It doesn't seem to be affecting any of the driving of it. And I'm sure they'll get it out. This is, like I said, this is one of the new technology hitting out first, okay? Uh, normally I'd wait a year or so, but this problem of carburetion and the fuels we have today is such a problem that we really need to address that now. Mike took a uh, uh, <clears throat> real hot, high performance hot rod uh, Mopar. The guy was gonna sell, because he couldn't make it run. The carburetor was loading up, it was, he had to call tree. <laughs> Said he had to call AAA all the time to tell him where he's going to go so they pick him up. <coughs> he was going to sell the car. Mike put put a, a, a big five tech 800 in it, and uh, uh, the thing is, is the guys the guys in love with it. Said the, co the car runs like like snot. It's just amazing. Well, I have to say that I found that out too. Okay, and um, uh, we're going to investigate more. If you want to watch more, that's fine. Kind of watch the forums and things. But uh, I gotta tell you, brother, uh, I still love my I still love my carburetors. My my beloved, you know, the definition of a carburetor is a spring-loaded, controlled series of air and fuel leaks. I still love my baby, but it, never buy another carburetor. I have a feeling that we're going in that direction. One last thing before we go, we've launched another uh, website. Life is more than in, uh, life is more than mpg.com. Check it out. I want to make it first a uh, dump, photo dump for things that I don't care what the gas costs. Somebody that comes up to me, oh, you've got a motor home. You think you need tired of wasting gas? Nope, not at all. I got a lower carbon footprint than your house does. Besides that, I'm having fun. You're not. So go there, check it out, have fun with it. Maybe who knows? We'll wait t-shirts and hats and other stuff. I have this on the back of my uh, Harley. and yeah, I get a lot of thumbs up. The thing's so ostentatious and, you know, metallic green. It's got chrome hanging off of it. It's ridiculous. And life is more than in PG. I don't care. I could ride a scooter. I don't care. I took some pictures when I was at the Keys. There's one marina. There were 
four cigarette boats sitting there with four engines on each one of them. I mean, come on, were you on fishing? Um, I got a picture of it. It'll be on uh, it'll be on the website soon. So go there. It's all free. It's all fun. That's, you know, we're here to make money. We're in the wrong place. We're having too much fun. And right. email us all your cool videos and cool send, pictures. Right. Send us some videos. Send us some pictures of something. Uh, and let's have fun with this site too. All right, guys. Look, I think we beat this one up. If there's any other questions you have about fuel injection, uh, I would say if you're if you're on the fence, watch a little more because people are going at it. We're going at it. Uh, if you go for it, we're gonna uh, create an instruction sheet, maybe a video even, huh? all right, uh, with all the parts that you don't get from Summit or any shop uh, from Fitech. Um, I'm not sure how much it'll be because I know there's a couple of hoses, some A and six hoses and some things, but it will be a complete kit telling you how to do it in all the parts um, from buying the kit. So stay tuned for that. It takes a couple of weeks to get together. So look, thanks for coming, and uh, see you next time.